All right, folks, hopefully you can hear me okay. I guess I just entered kind of a wind tunnel, but shows right here. Uh, no red tape involving bringing complaint, a simple call. Uh, you can also visit the office at its location, right? So that's Nebraska, right? So uh, let's see how they handle uh, me actually going ahead and coming into the office to file a complaint. Sorry, it's windy. Um, I just wanted to file a complaint. Sure. Hi. Hi, I'm Carmen. Hi, this is Rebecca. Hi. Um, Chris, I'd let us know you had a complaint that you wanted to file with yeah. us. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you don't mind filling that out, I can take notes too. Do you know, um, or I guess we both can, uh, but what, um, who are you, or I guess what agency are you filing a complaint? Uh, the Attorney to? General. Okay. Um, what is, let's start with, what is your name? Justin. Do you guys normally do the intake out here? Yeah, if you do. Yeah. Weird. If that is. Yeah, whatever. Cool. For you. Yeah. And your last name, Justin? Riddle, R I D D L E. What's your address? Uh, it's 16422 Patrick Avenue. In city? Uh, Omaha, Nebraska, 68116. Eight one one six. Have you contacted us before? Um, not about this, but five years ago, yeah, about the bank situation, which I ultimately won in the Supreme Court without an attorney. What is your? Uh, what's a good phone number for you? Four zero two eight one three 
2156. I can. So, in 2021, my mother and I were unfairly uh, singled out at a school board meeting, and well, we were we were prevented from speaking. Okay. At a school board meeting. Hmm? What school board? Omaha Public Schools. Okay. And they prevented us because they did not want the content of the information that we were sharing. But they did it under the guise of the address and then they did it under the guise of, well, you can't play a recording. You can only speak at the meeting. You can't play a recording. Okay. Well, multiple members of the community, not myself and not my mom, although I did look back and I did have a draft that I started to compose back then to the AG, but I have ADHD and I get easily distracted, so I literally must have forgot to finish because I did not send it. But multiple members of the community, according to this letter from the Attorney General, multiple members of the community alleged violations of the Open Meeting uh, Meetings Act against my mother and I. Our names are right there, okay? Well, the Attorney General spoke to the school district. Who, who is this addressed to? Well, it's addressed to the public. I mean, it's, it wasn't to me, they hid it from me. Was it on, but I mean, where did you get this? I found it on accident about a month ago, online. Does it look fabricated? No, I, it, I just don't understand yeah. what it is. Is it like that person's not the attorney this, general? Well, they did an investigation. This they came a, to a conclusion. Um, letterhead, of course, and a date. Yeah. Uh, there's a subject line but it doesn't really show to whom it's addressed. Yeah. So, yeah, just wondering. Yeah. So it, it's not really addressed to anyone. It's a decision. It's an opinion. It's what they decided. An opinion. The attorney general, so. So it says a copy to David Crane. Well, yeah, their attorney. Of course they got a copy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Okay, so, so this is something that you um, got from the AG's website? Correct. Okay. Okay, so how does this relate to your name? Well, my name is in there, okay, for one. So is my mom, okay? So we were the alleged victims, according to multiple members of the community. We're tracking so far, right? No. No. That you were victims? So, let me show you again. I'll read it. Multiple complaints were registered off of alleging violations of the Open Meetings Act. And, where is it at? Here. Uh, let's see. Cheryl Adamson and Justin Riddle. Okay. Yeah, you didn't highlight that. I'm sorry. I didn't because this was for me to read at the school board meeting last night, but I did highlight this, which says, the video shows that she needed to give her own public comment and not play the audio recording, which, so, the audio recording. Have you, have you visited with the Attorney General about this problem? Um, yeah, they told me I should uh, go catch rain in a strainer. So what I will show you is this. See what he's doing? No. He's playing a recording. Jeez. Now. What is that? 
That's the same school board that says you can't play recordings, and that's what they told the attorney general, which they used right here to say was the reason for silencing my mom. What date was that video? Uh, what do you so, mean? When was it? But we've done it. We've played it? recordings many times, many, many, many dates. Yeah, I was just asking. I don't recall. Just because. I don't recall what date it is now. Okay. But I, I can tell you we've done it many times because there is no rule against it now. The, the issue, if you consider what I've said so far, the issue is that they conducted a meeting in which, an investigation in which my mother and I were named as alleged victims. We weren't the complainers, we were allegedly the victims. Omaha Public Schools was allegedly the violator. Would you agree with that statement, allegedly? We're we don't not agree. Yeah, we don't agree. With I'm asking if we understand each other based on what the words are that are printed. It's not. It doesn't matter if we agree. We're just. Taking I'm just saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? And and if, if what I'm saying doesn't align with that, what would you say is different? Just so that I can clearly explain my position. Like that states multiple violations were made by OPS, right? We yeah. haven't read it. Yeah. Okay. So, so let me just read it. Well, well, we, you don't have to pull it away from me. You don't want to hear it. So it says multiple, and, we, and I did read this three times now. Multiple complaints were registered so with this So what we would want to do is read the entire thing. You yeah, know, sure, like, and I'll leave it with you. But so, aren't yeah, you still in taking my info? Yes, we yeah. want to know yeah. what okay, so. you would like our office to do. Well, I'm trying to get to that, but until we understand that OPS was accused of doing something wrong, my mother and I's names were uh, the alleged victims, and I don't know what other terms to use. They were, the community called in, multiple people, according to this, and said these people were wronged by this school board. Then the district attorney talked to that school board, but not to us, okay? Then they lied and said you couldn't play videos because it's the only way they could make it seem right. Then they published it in a hidden spot on the internet and didn't let, well, of course, they didn't even let us know there was an investigation to begin with, let alone there was a decision made on that is defamation because it turns us from the victims into the abusers by the language, okay? So what they've effectively done is taken a community complaint and said that the people who were allegedly the victims were actually the abusers, but they did it with lies. And the lies aren't subjective because they're in writing. They printed them, and I can pull up a dozen school board meet meetings where people played audio. Now, when I found this last month, which of course it says January 6, 2022, it was a miracle that I found it. It was luck. Okay? When I found it, I submitted a uh, freedom of information request for what information they used to come to this conclusion since I was never even notified of the investigation and they said no. It's it's private. Now, in here, it says we reviewed the meeting which is still available today on YouTube. It's public. It's an Open Meetings Act violation and I am the alleged victim. So I'm trying to understand what would be private about that that I can't see how I was made into the abuser from the victim. Due process says if somebody's going to publish something about me, in particular, a government agency, in particular, a lie, that I at least have the ability to defend myself and give my position, which facts show that I never did and wasn't allowed, and now I'm being prevented. So your expression has changed significantly since I walked in the room or since I started talking, but let me ask you why. Is it because, gosh... I've got real proof that they're doing something wrong and you guys don't want to punish them? No. Mm -mm. No. They, they I won don't. in the Supreme Court. Do you know why? Because I was right. The truth came out. Every court, you guys, Lucas, I call him Lucas the liar. There's a great YouTube video on that. He's probably not still here. He's probably moved his way up for being very good at lying, but the point is, I won in the Supreme Court of Nebraska, you can see it online, right? Unanimously, right? I own www.charterwestbank.com, okay? 
So at the end of the day, my resolve to make sure this gets addressed won't stop until it's addressed. Okay, so what we need you to know is that this office investigates complaints pertaining to state agencies in Nebraska. Okay, is the school board a state have, agency? No. no. What is it? It is a governmental subdivision. And is the AG a state agency? The, the uh, I believe it is because online it says. Okay, so the attorney general. Um, so you guys can't is, investigate them or you can't? Because I mean, let you're. Let her finish. Well, I mean, just tell me. Please let her finish. The attorney general is an elected official. Um, so I'm not really sure if there's. Hold on. The attorney general is elected. Does that mean the office itself is above investigation? The attorney general is an elected official. Is the office of the attorney general above investigation? Not employees. No, in investigations that they've done. I'm not saying go talk to Mike and, you know, punish him. I'm saying this is incorrect. It's been published. I've asked them to fix it. They refuse. Why, they, why did they refuse to fix it? Because they knew it was a lie up front. That's why they hid it. They, they refused to fix it because then it changes the entire situation. And all of a sudden, everything I say becomes true. Okay, it is highly likely that our office is not going to be able to make them fix what you see as an error here. So, as a citizen coming to you that investigate Nebraska state agencies, such as the Attorney General's office... Yeah, we look into complaints. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's my recourse when they hit it? I wasn't the complainant. I was the alleged victim. They then turned us into the abusers. They hit it. Once we found it, they still refused to show us where they came to that information. And they've published a lie. More than one, actually, but that one is so painfully obvious that there's just no disputing it. So you're not attorneys, I get it. Because that's the answer I get from everybody, and I understand. But you work in the law field, right? No, we no. don't. What would you call this office? We are part this of the, the legislative branch. Yeah, yeah we're part of the legislative branch of government. Mm -hmm. yep. That's the government. It's, there's a lot of law involved in here. But we're not. A, we are we, not. We attorneys. don't practice in the court. You don't have to practice law. Then that's even better because common sense tells you if somebody accuses you of something, you have a right to defend yourself if it's being decided and published agree or disagree that's basic knowledge nobody can just the government cannot just convict you of something without you getting an opportunity if you so choose to speak your side what were you convicted of well I was convicted of being the problem which if you ran a small business you might understand that when your customers look you up and say, oh, oh my gosh, this guy is out of control at a school board meeting. No, that's not what happened. They lied. So, yes, there were harms okay. and damages. So your complaint is that the attorney general lied. Has, has portrayed you. It's defamation, in, correct. Okay. You need an attorney. To no, I that. don't need an attorney. I won in the Supreme Court without an attorney. I'm asking well, you what need you to guys go to do. Court and and allege so in court that it's well, just already, my opinion that the attorney general has defamed you. Well, I already we have that lawsuit. Help, correct. We cannot help you do. I'm not that. asking you to help about the defamation. I want the facts corrected from the investigation from the Nebraska State Office. Would that not mean that your defamation would be resolved? That you wouldn't be. I don't know. Would it? Well. If it did, wouldn't that be great? Then then you'd be doing your job and a really good job of it. Yeah. Sounds no. like the right thing to me. What we I do, agree. If you guys got the truth published, it would fix my defamation suit. You are so right. I'm so Sir, this is really inappropriate. What are you talking about? I totally agree. I agree. I think it's a great I, idea. It's a fan like my excitement should be showing through. Can fix for you. But you can investigate and then when they have to fix it because it is in fact false and you investigate public agencies, Nebraska, right? You investigate the agency. Here's their investigation, not the elected official, but the agency. Here's the lies they published. Shouldn't you be able to say, well, you guys published lies. We're 
we're how responsible. Are, how are we supposed to determine whether that is a lie or not? I just showed you a video of me playing. No, we don't we don't do that. You will need to get an attorney to, to I'm sorry, resolve what? this problem. We are not going to look at your video. You don't have to look at my video. You, you can find it yourself it online. You oh, so I did show is, you the video. You, yeah. You and you could see it was OPS's school board meeting. So we will not be looking into this. That's the end of the conversation. Perfect. I knew that would happen. I told you guys. Glad I kept it live. Everybody, I told you exactly what I said. This is Nebraska. Bye. I told you guys. Yep, all of them. <laughs>